I am not prepared for this hike today. I actually wasn't meant to do this hike today. There's a big, uh, big hurricane coming to LA tonight. And that's pretty much gonna wipe out my entire last day, which is when I was gonna do this hike. I always do this hike. Last year I did it. This year I wanted to do it. So I've uh, made my way up here today and I'm gonna quickly film it, get up to the Hollywood sign. Just do a bit of a recap on what has been a pretty incredible 15 days. Big success. You're on camera. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll see you in two weeks. See ya. <laughs> well, guys, this might look familiar to you. Matt, Josh, and Haley's house. We're tuning into our video tomorrow on YouTube to see the best thing I've ever found. This is the one that we're doing. 0.8 miles. It's 12.30, currently the hottest part of the day. I have zero sunscreen and no water. Could not have planned this any, any better. This is also the first bit of exercise I've done in 15 days and I am absolutely screaming. Lungs are burning already. So when I was planning this trip to the US back home, I broke the 15 day trip up into five different legs. And the first leg was the Goodwill Bins and Melrose Avenue in LA. Right, so I'm two hours down. Been a very, very busy morning running through all these bins, but so far some pretty good pickups. I'm, I'm happy with what we've been able to grab. It's super competitive in there. There's a lot of people for a Monday, but um, we're just gonna keep plugging away all day and hopefully we can get a bit more lucky. One of my favorite parts of LA is getting out to Melrose Avenue and having a look at the thrift scene. There's a bunch of consignment stores. You're looking at vintage t-shirts, sneakers, and I'm gonna be after all of that today. Jordan 1 mids, first buy of the day. I'm pretty stoked about this, guys. And to be honest with you guys, I actually got a little bit ahead of myself and I bought too much stuff. I filled up an entire suitcase worth of thrifted goods from both the bins and Melrose Avenue over those first two days that I actually ran into a problem having to take extra luggage across to the East Coast for the second leg in North Carolina. That's where Jonathan, J6 Flip, stepped in. He gave me a message and said, Matt, no stress, I'm happy to hold your bags for you in LA. He's a local, uh, he's a reseller and a YouTuber here in LA. He said, just let, leave it at my place and go over there and I'll give it to you when you get back. So he dug me out of a pretty big hole because it was gonna cost me 200 US dollars to take the bag over there with me for ultimately no reason. So a huge thank you to Jonathan for giving me a helping hand. But leg number one, LA, two days, so much fun. I shouldn't have worn a grey t-shirt. I am absolutely sweaty already. So it looks like we made it halfway up. This is what we're trying to do. But I also want to get to the back of the Hollywood sign and that's 0.8 further. So Mount Lee Summit is actually where we want to go. This is the final destination. I've got to say, one of the biggest regrets that I've got from this trip is eating all of the fast food this nation offers. This is ridiculous. This, is what was, this was my biggest concern coming over to America, is food portion size. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this though. There we go. Portion size. Dinner is served. <laughs> that is insane. I had way too much. I've put on kilos. I need to go back home and I need to get into some form of massive training program. Shred for summer. So after LA, we were off to North Carolina. And to be honest, guys, I didn't really know what to expect. I was heading over there to go to FlipCon, which was a two-day reselling conference. And Josh and Haley, Harry Tornado, it was their event, and they actually asked me to guest speak for the first time ever. I've never spoken at a conference before, and here I was, just talking to 250 Americans about my journey as an eBay reseller. So that was a real thrill. And it was also a thrill to meet so many big-time YouTubers with two, three, 400,000 subs and I was really able to pick their brain and just ask them how do you get a video that makes a bunch of views because I'm always trying to work that out um, so that was really awesome and then obviously to meet viewers of the channel as well that was a real thrill it's really hard when you make these videos and you see how many people have viewed it you can never actually put a face to a name and this conference allowed me to do exactly that I was able to meet people face to face and say hello and hear how much people actually appreciates the videos that I put out um, so that gave me a bunch of motivation to keep going and keep making videos. So I can't thank you enough for that. And then that right there is the Hollywood sign. 
So we're getting very, very close, guys. There's not long to go now. So I think the third leg of the trip was the one that I was anticipating the most. I was really excited to pick up a camper van and go traveling around the east coast of America. I slept at a fried chicken shop last night. But fortunately the cops didn't turn up, which I was a little bit worried about. And fortunately I was actually able to sleep through the anxiety of thinking the cops were gonna show up. I've got it for the next six days, five nights, and to be honest with you guys, it's actually blown my mind. It's way better than I thought it was gonna be. This thing is almost like new. Uh, I sound like I'm talking about an item I'm trying to sell here, but it's got everything. Like the bedding is super comfortable and it's actually quite spacious, so I should be able to sleep fairly decently. Um, it's got all the, the little kitchenette facilities. It's even got a little mini fridge. Uh, and then the front seats as well. While it is strange that we're sitting on the left-hand side in this car and we're gonna be driving on the right-hand side of the road, uh, it, it's pretty much equipped and, and ready to go in the sense of being an automatic. So I shouldn't have any, any problems with that. Um, so many different USB ports, so many different charging stations. So I shouldn't have any troubles charging up all of my devices and editing some videos in here while I'm on the road. Uh, but I'm just really excited to get underway. The plan was to cruise up to Virginia and catch up with Commonwealth Flipper. And I also had ADH Dave, Lady Arbitrage and American Arbitrage along for the journey with me. Met up with Mel back from burnout. It was so cool to share this experience with Mel, a fellow Aussie doing the same journey as me. And um, we had a lot of fun together and she linked up with me in Virginia as well. But I grabbed this camper van and I was stoked. It literally blew my expectations. This camper van, was one of the best cruisers I've ever been in, and it drove like a dream. I didn't have any issues with the road rules, which I was a little bit nervous about. I was able to punch my way four hours north to Virginia, and we're able to go out thrifting with all of those YouTubers. It was awesome to meet Dave, Kevin, Carrie, and Dawn, and obviously share the experiences I touched on with Mel. We found a bunch of really cool stuff in Virginia, but it was actually just after I got the van uh, that I had the greatest find of my life, where I found a bunch of Pokemon cards, including a shadowless Charizard, that's worth potentially thousands of dollars. All of these. Those are hollows. So you got it. The first editions? Yeah, first editions. Can I open it? Yep. Let's see what you got here. The Champ Hollow. Oh, dude, that's a really good card, Blastoise. Mewtwo. Oh, they're all the hollows, first edition. Dude, that's insane. The Red HP. Oh my dude, gosh. There's a dude. Charizard, bro. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. How much did you pay for this? Hey, look at it. Dude, it's, it's insane. It's the first edition. It's shadowless, too. Is it or is it really? Yeah. That's, sh that's the shadow. There's no shadow. Oh, man. Are you going to get this graded? You've got yeah, you got to get it graded. <laughs> it's a $20,000 card. $325. Oh my God. $325. That's insane. You just you paid for your trip. Oh my gosh, you, you paid, paid for you your house. Profit. Yeah. <laughs> Having had a look into the Pokemon cards since the trip, I think ultimately when they go on a resale, it'll literally pay for the entire trip. It was that big of a find. So I'm absolutely stoked. Incredible experience. To get it for $325, just nuts. And ultimately it was the highlight of the trip. So after saying bye to the guys in Virginia, I went five and a half hours south in the camper van to South Carolina. And I caught up with Josh and Haley, Harry Tornado, who ran the FlipCon event. And we went out to the flea market. We also went to the Goodwill bins. And then we also jumped on a whatnot and they were allowing me basically to be the host. I was able to sell all the products that I found at the flea market and the Goodwill bins on their whatnot channel. I spoke to 300 of their viewers and I was able to sell off all of my goods live to make over a thousand dollars in sales. Yeah, I was just saying to Josh, like we don't have it back in Australia. So to be able to come over here and give this a go and Josh and Haley both being kind enough to let me run my first ever whatnot show to what will feel like a stadium of people. We just finished up the whatnot show. Uh, what an awesome experience that was to be able to jump on and give it a crack. Uh, and there's our number. We did a thousand dollars in total sales. Literally in just two hours, I think maximum we were, we were live. They actually gave me at the end of the stay, $800 in cash and they said, it's all yours, well done. So just really kind, generous, awesome people. Some of the nicest people that I've ever met. 
And then he was able to do a dedicated video with me as well. And he shouted out my YouTube channel and over the space of 24 hours, I've been able to gain over two and a half thousand new subscribers. So I've got everything to thank for Josh and Haley on this trip because they have helped my YouTube channel and my reselling business just so much. Um, so I've got nothing more than to say thank you so much to Josh and Haley. Uh, that has been just such a huge moment for this trip. There it is. There it is. We made it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Damn, that looks like hard work. So guys, I said last year at this very spot that I was gonna come back to this location when I hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm not quite there yet. I've got 22,000 subscribers to my name, growing by about 13,000 subscribers since I was last here. But this really is just another little step along the journey towards that 100,000 subs. It's been so much fun to grow the channel, make videos, bring you guys along with me. And I'm very excited about potentially when that first video really blows up, and takes my channel off. But mark my words, guys, I will be back here for 100,000 subs. I think one of the biggest takeaways from this trip has been to not take life too safe. You don't want to be safe. You want to take calculated risks and make moves. Make big decisions, make bold decisions, make really brave decisions. It's what I've done a lot over the last three years. A lot of the moves that I've chosen to do have been ones that have made me nervous, but ultimately they have always been the game changers to take me to the next level. All of the different mini stories that I've told you throughout these 15 days wouldn't have taken place if I didn't make another big risk to put a bunch of money into coming over here to the US and giving it a crack. I would never have found a base set Charizard. I would have never have connected and become friends with all of these amazing YouTubers that I'm gonna bump into down the line. I would never have been able to find all of the awesome stuff that I'm able to bring home and sell back to my viewers. And I would never have been able to make these videos that are ultimately gonna progress the YouTube channel. So. I can only say to you guys out there, if you're wanting to do something in life, take risks, make moves, be bold, be brave, because you'd be amazed at what can actually happen when you have a bit of optimism and you attack things with everything you've got. I'm just really fortunate that I've got the courage to do it and I'm really stoked that I have done it because as much as it was scary, I can tell you right now, it's definitely paid off.